16 most beautiful abandoned places. Sixteen, eerily beautiful. This is Kolmanskop, which you can find in Namibia. This little town was thriving in the early part of the 1900s, where there was an influx of German settlers coming to the diamond-enriched areas. However, the diamonds depleted, and by the 1950s, the little town was deserted. 15. If the walls could speak, it would be amazing to unlock the stories and happenings that took place at Angkor Wat, this beautiful abandoned temple discovered in Cambodia. Angkor means city, and Angkor was the capital city from the 9th to the 16th century. This temple is said to be the biggest religious monument in the world and was originally a Hindu temple. There have been several theories as to why the area was abandoned, from lack of water, disease, natural design and pressure from rivals. 14. Set sail. If you visit Homebush Bay in Sydney, you will find the surreal floating forest inside the ship, the SS Airfield. It was at Homebush that many ships in the 20th century were just left when they were no longer needed. This ship is over 100 years old and used to deliver supplies to American troops when it served as a collier. 13. Gone but not forgotten. We are fortunate to have access to the internet, otherwise we wouldn't even know about half of these beautiful abandoned places. This is a mill discovered in Sorrento, Italy from 1866. The mill was deserted in the 19th century and National Geographic did a lot of research on the mill and explained the desertion due to the development of Tasso Square, isolating the mill from the sea, making heat levels rise and too unbearable to function in. So it was a 12. Sad to see it go. This is the Lawndale Theatre, which in its heyday was the place to go in Chicago. It could seat around 2,000 people, which featured movies, then burlesque shows, then back to the movies. It closed down in 1963 and was meant to be demolished in 2014. However, locals say it's still there, and many have been very upset that so much of history was just going to be demolished. 11. Be our guest. This is a big reason to visit Bogota in Colombia, so you can go and visit one of their main tourist attractions. This abandoned hotel is called Hotel de Salta, and you will also witness the Tequium Dama Falls and the surrounding nature. The hotel opened in 1928 and welcomed the wealthier travelers through its doors. The Bogota River eventually got contaminated, and tourists lost interest in going there. It closed its doors in the early 90s, and many believe the hotel is haunted as so many people have committed suicide there. 10. Not something from a sci-fi movie. This was actually the HQ for the Communist Party in Bulgaria. It looks like a giant flying saucer and was created by the communist regime as a meeting place. It was active from 1981 to 1991 and then fell into disrepair when the fall of the Soviet Union took place. Apparently, they are looking into restoring it. 9. Old places have soul. And this exquisite abandoned railway station oozes soul. Its location is the former Russian territory, known as Abkhazia. It was deserted in the 90s, more than likely to blockades imposed by Russia. This type of architecture is known as Stalinist Gothic or Socialist Classism. 8. Only memories left behind. This is the Goki Island, which forms part of a group of nearly 400 islands called the Shengzi Islands in China. At one stage, it was a super busy fishing village, but with the developments of secondary and tertiary industries, many of these little fishing villages didn't last much longer, and people left seeking work elsewhere. 7. Hauntingly Beautiful Sadly, the stories of what went on inside the Bierlitz Hallstatten Hospital are not as hauntingly beautiful as some of the architecture seen in this building. This hospital once had Hitler recovering there for a bit. It saw thousands of TB patients heading through the doors, had murders take place inside, and I'm sure many other atrocities. The sanatorium is in Brandenburg in Germany and sees many people breaking in just to capture some of the beauty that the actual building hosts. 6. A Romantic Tale There doesn't seem to be an exact story as to how the Chatelain Car graveyard in Belgium came into being, but it's a breathtaking sight. The cars are surrounded by plants and branches and vines are growing through the vehicles. Reporters say the cars were left in haste, but the romanticized story attached to them is that the cars belong to US soldiers who left them behind when the war finished and they returned home.
Five, going back in time. This makes me feel like I'm right there at this blade mill in France. Not much is given about this exact blade mill, but the sharpening of blades, scythes, sickles, knives and swords would have taken place there. Apparently many grinders died very young due to grinders disease, which is a lung disease more than likely caused from the inhaling of the dust when grinding took place. 4. No trespassing allowed. It's all because of one brave girl that we have access to these beautiful images of an abandoned rocket factory in Russia. We only know her as Lana, and she broke into the factory situated just outside Moscow. As you can imagine, Russian authorities were not happy at all, and even posted threatening letters on her website. So a big thank you, Lana, for showing us what it looks like on the inside. 3. A personal journey This 27 meter deep well is found in Sintra and is known as the initiation well. It's meant to lead one on a journey of self-discovery and rebirth. You're either going into the darkness or coming out into the light. Also could be deemed as death and birth. It was owned by a well-known Freemason who used the wells, there are two of them, for ceremonial purposes. They were never used to draw water and every part of the well is symbolic in some way. 2. Ghost Town or rather Ghost Subway. This is stunning, the City Hall subway station in New York and was supposed to be the showpiece when it came to subway stations. However, a mere 41 years after opening, it was actually closed down. For some reason, traffic at that station saw a rapid decline and then with the onset of the Great Depression and then World War II, the station wasn't used at all, so it was shut down. It received landmark status in 1979 and there were plans in the pipeline a few years ago to bring it back to life. 1. History Created This breathtaking crystal mill is from 1892 and is actually a decompressor station. Constructed in 1893, it was used as a power plant. This mill is said to be one of the most photographed sites in Colorado in the US and has a place on the National Register of Historic Places. 